Hi everybody, welcome to my brand new channel. I wanted to start out a video kind of by introducing myself a little bit and letting you guys get to know me and who I am and all that fun stuff. So I thought the best way to do that would be to do a... What's in my... I'm <laughs> just smacking the... <laughs> I just thought the best way to do that would be to do a what's in my bag. You know, you can always tell a lot about a girl by what's in her purse. I never ever ever let anyone rifle through my bag. It's this weird thing that I have, but I figure I'll be doing the rifling, you guys will be doing the watching, so it'll be fun, I think. We'll see. But that would be a really fun way for you guys to get to know me a little bit. So my bag is, just to start off kind of, I'll tell you a little bit about my bag. I got this bag two years ago as a birthday gift. It is Burberry. It's like a nice chocolate brown leather. You can kind of see really like so I like that nice like pebble texturing and it's one of my favorites it's gigantic you can see it's like as big as me I literally carry my entire life around in this purse all the time I carry it I try to stick to the fall and really not like abuse it and carry it too too much where I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin it but I do often kind of let it transition more to the summertime since I live in the city I feel like I get away with wearing my dark clothes all the time so I try and kind of like mix it in with my summer wardrobe quite frequently. So let's go ahead and jump on in and let's see what we have in here because I have not cleaned this purse out in an embarrassing amount of time. So getting started, I have my wallet. Just, you know, stuffed with God only knows what, you know, I only have two debit cards and my ID and the rest is nonsense. Starbucks cards that probably have 50 cents on them and 18 Metro cards and you know the huge I have the greatest gum in the entire world ice cubes oh my god this stuff is so good the spearmint's really good but I also really like the peppermint it's my favorite but for some reason I can only find it in Target and I can only find the spearmint recently so that's kind of a little bit of a letdown I have my work keys I am the manager of a bar in Times Square, so I have all my my swipey card thing and my key to get in my office and my big fluffy keychain. It's like a pet. Like when I get really bored, I'll just sit there and like randomly just pet this thing. Like I feel like the Godfather. Like you know, like I would like I don't know, pet a cat. You know, it's like a little pet, and I'll just like awkwardly be standing there talking to people, petting it like this, like a total weirdo. So that's those and then I have my actual keys to my apartment so I can get in and I, I go to crunch, Woo, so crunch. Headphones, just regular plain old Apple iPhone headphones. I've been thinking a lot about getting that new phone but those, like I lose those at least twice a day so I don't know how I would possibly ever in a million years keep track of those little things about that, I don't know things I think about. I have these herbal supplements for cramps that one of the girls that I work with recommended to me. Um, I will let you know how those how it works out. I get really, really, really intense, really bad cramps that pretty much make me wish that I was anywhere but there. Um, so I'm kind of trying out some herbal remedies because I really hate taking medicine. But speaking of medicine, Tylenol Extra Strength for those times when you just can't deal and you don't have any other choice but to take some medicine. I have some tissues, some cute little, like, you can see them, oh my god, they're so cute. Little Olaf, like, what am I going to say, sniffles? I, get, I guess in case you get, I don't know what I'm saying, I can't speak, but little Olaf tissues, they're super cute. Oh my god, focus, okay, there. Yeah, they're so cute, I love them. I've just been, you know, carrying them around since last Christmas, it's casual. Um, combination lock for when I go to the gym you've got to lock your stuff up and keep it safe I have my my sunglasses and for once this is the only pair I've ever this is the longest I've ever held on to a pair of sunglasses with the case it's pretty much a miracle but they're just plain old aviator style like okay I'm done now my camera has a little like selfie thing on it, so I'm trying my best to like not look at that and make sure that I don't look stupid and look into the camera so I don't look like a total weirdo later. 
but now that I just have my little like pose off moment, embarrassing. I have a plastic spoon, which I am going to be trying something out. Um, I don't know if you guys follow or watch Beauty Falls, but she's one of my old friend's sisters, and she did a cut crease with spoons. You put a spoon over your eye, and it kind of like helps you do the cut crease. And she got a, you have to check it out. It's a pretty popular video. I know it's covered by a lot of major publications. So I am going to be testing out the spoon cut crease and that's going to be a video coming up for you guys so i'll put that over there with my makeup stuff all right that's pretty much what's in the main body of the bag my metro card i'm gonna put that back in there because i have a knack for losing my monthly metro card three days before it expires and it just makes me so annoyed or three days after i bought it it's what i do you know at least once a year just the plain old pen Another pen. You know, guys need to see a pen. I have two slips. I have two packages at the post office I have to go pick up. My postman refuses to ring my buzzer, so he just leaves me these, and then I have to go walk 10 blocks and go pick up my packages. Good times. I have my a flash drive. A Sephora lip liner that I use a lot of. It's just like a plain nude color. Okay, and then in the side pocket here, I have like a big zippy pocket. I have my all-time favorite highlighter ever. You can't, it's NARS. It's the color Luster, Luxor, excuse me, Luxor. And I'll, I'll swatch it for you guys. The, light, the sun's kind of starting to go down, so I'm sorry if the lighting isn't very good. Um, I got a really late start today. Um, it's like this creamy pale pink color and I've been rocking it. You can't really, oh, why can't you see it? It's the lighting's not super good. It's like super dull in here right now, but when I have some better light, I will make a point of showing you guys this highlighter. It's like this really pretty, you can kind of see like this really pretty like pinky color and it's beautiful and it's creamy so when you're going to be going all day like the way you would put a cream contour on underneath a powder so that you you know your makeup stands up and holds all day I like to put a cream highlighter on underneath and then do a little bit of powder highlighter over it to kind of help set it and I really think that it helps stand up all day and you know because like every once in a while it's like by the end of the day after you've worked a long day you look in the mirror and you're like where did my highlight go like where what happened so I really like to put a cream highlighter on there but I'll get a little bit more in depth with that later on I have a bunch of Kylie lip kits I have it's like just randomly stuffed in the pocket of my bag where's the other one here it is I have posy K just this is just what I have in this bag I have 22 um, which metallic is this? King K metallic. And so I have 22 Posey K and King K. Posey K is one of my favorite. It's like really pinky and it's like this gorgeous mauve color. It's my favorite. It was the first one I got and I've never like stopped loving it. I have an eczema anti-itching cream. I don't really get every once in a while I get which is really good if you have eczema this works really really well it's cuts down in your use your words Lauren irritation and kind of like takes the redness and the itch out really really well um yeah I recommend giving it a try it's great for like spot treating little tiny areas of it I have gold bond ultimate healing hand lotion my skin, I have naturally super dry skin, so for me, I really carry around a thousand, like, moisturizers and just little stuff like that. I have more, like, I have a Revlon style, like, chubby stick, a Clinique chubby stick, and they're, like, little lipsticks. Um, this, like, lip butter glaze, I've used this, like, one or two times. It's by the brand Kors. Kors? I know I'm not saying that right. And they're like little lip glosses, but also like little butters, and they go on really pretty. And they have like a nice color to them. 
So when I'm just like going somewhere, someone's like, oh, let's take a photo. And I'm just sitting there dreading the, it because I'm like, I realize I didn't do anything besides mascara that day. So I'm like, Ugh. okay, throw on some lipstick. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I have my phone charger. I have this cute like little like flower barrette. Receipts. Straw, you know, you always need a straw. I really, I got in the habit of carrying around a straw because I was carrying around a metal straw, so it was recyclable, and I was loving it. And then I was caught one day without a straw, and I just stole one from work. Matches from this amazing um, gluten-free, dairy-free Italian restaurant. They make pizza. Oh god, it's so good. Downtown, um, right in the like Lower East Side. Then I have a Lime Crime velveteen in the color cashmere this is one of my favorite like nudes i'm kind of torn i'm mixed on the whole like lime crime thing i was super i'll be honest i was super late to the party and i didn't realize until after i placed a pretty huge order with them because i saw like cruelty free makeup and i saw like love the velveteens and i was like yes yes okay i got really excited so i ordered it and then i had a friend who was like oh you know the whole like lime crime scandal right and i was like no so she told me, and I was just kind of like, uh, and then I feel like my view has been tainted. I don't want to say a whole lot. Don't, we don't, we don't need to rehash that. But basically, I don't, I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings on them. I'm wearing, uh, Salem right now, which is a brown color I really genuinely do love. Oh, I forgot to show you this. I have another just plain red lipstick. This is just L'Oreal. It's like one of their long wears. And it's like a really pretty red. It has like nice like flecks of like gold in it. It's like a nice like blue based red color. And it lasts a really long time. Once you let it kind of dry on there, it does last for quite a bit. And I feel like with the dark lipstick, that's so important. I hate when you just all of a sudden look up and realize that like your lipstick's like faded in the center and you're just, you've been walking around looking with like ridiculous with like half faded off lipstick and you feel silly. Um, Another pack of matches. I quit smoking a year ago. Why I have so many things of matches? Well, I know why I have them. Because every time I go to a new restaurant or a new place and they I have they have matches, I'm like that one. It's like they're there for free, but I really try like covertly like grab them and stuff like five or six packs in my bag because I like to hold on to them because I'm a pack rat keepsake type of person. Um, that was just a pack of gum. I don't. It's like half chewed, half empty. There's like one piece left. Here's the lip liner that goes with Posey K, and I've literally only had this lip kit for like six months, and I've already used like half the liner. I'm so glad she came out with the singles. A necklace that I've been looking for literally everywhere, so it's just like a Simply Vera, but when you look at it, come on, focus. Focus camera. Every time I wear this, I love this necklace because everyone goes, oh, is that David Ehrman? And I have that split second moment where I'm like, yes, it is. It is. It's so fancy. But it's not. It's Simply Vera. My mom got it for me. It's beautiful. I love it. I've been looking for it for literally two months. Don't know where it went. It was in the bottom of my purse. What else? What else? What else? I got this sample. I don't remember from where. And it's just like a little red lipstick. And I always say, oh, I'll just carry it around. Ooh, that matches my nails really well. Oh. Should wear it before I get a new color. <laughs> Another necklace. This is just like a little, like, silver choker. I have, I don't have a, f <laughs> this is going to sound awful. I don't have a fat neck, but I think maybe it's because I'm so tall that like, when I wear I buy like a choker that's not adjustable, I end up taking it off about like two to three hours into my day because I just feel like I'm being strangled. I literally feel like I'm being choked and like not in a chic way. It's like no one wants to have a muffin top on their neck, ever. No one wants to have a muffin top in general, but you know, especially on your neck, right under your face, that's worse than a double chin, worse. So I always inevitably just like rip it off and I'm like, I quit. I'm done. And then now I pretty much just have a lone Advil, no, Tylenol, just kidding. I have to put that away. For some reason I just 
put the bottle away open i like opened my bag one day it was like right after i'd gotten like this 500 count bottle and i just guess i got distracted and i don't know um got distracted just threw it into my purse oh no i did exactly what i just did right now okay so i'm closing it up and i didn't shut it all the way because like i said distracted and i opened it up and like all of them were dumped in the bottom of my purse and it's just one of those moments where i was like literal story of my life get it together Lauren this is not hard and I just have a bunch of loose change which is super great and I keep it in a in a big gallon sized bottle jug of apple juice that I call my savings account <laughs> adulting um yeah so that's pretty much pretty much me that's pretty much my whole life it's everything that I need if I was ever stranded on a desert island somewhere I would want to bring this with me I love this purse. Still smells like leather. I will look on the website and see if they still have it. It is definitely an investment bag. It's definitely not the kind of bag that you run out and just buy for, excuse my language, shits and gigs. But it is a beautiful bag. It's lasted me two years, like I said, of wearing it constantly. It carries everything. It holds everything. And the quality is just amazing. I will look on the site and if it is available I will link it below, if not I will link some similar bags, um, try and find some in all price ranges because I know if you're like me you can't be running out buying a new designer bag every every time you feel like it, unfortunately. Dream big babies, we'll get there. Um, but yeah, that's me, um, thank you so much for watching.